Good day learners, this is Easy Engineering. This time we're going to talk about naming of acids from anion names. Acids are known to be hydrogen paired compounds. The hydrogen bears positive charge, so it is a cation. There are two common types of acids, namely binary acids and oxo acids. Binary acids form when hydrogen is combined with non-metallic element, most commonly in group 7A. To name this kind of acid, we have the general structure. For first word, hydro plus non-metal root name plus IC, and followed by acid for second word. For example, the anion from group 7A. When it is paired with H+, they will become and their names would be hydrochloric acid, hydrobromic acid, and hydroiodic acid. While oxoacids are paired with oxoanions, oxoanions are anions containing oxygen. The technique is to determine what is the name of oxoanions. In the table shown are some common oxon ions. To name this kind of acid, we have the general structure oxon ion root name plus os or ic for the first word and followed by acid for the second word. If the oxon ion ends with ite, replace it with ous. If it ends with A-T-E, replace it with I-C. For example, let's name the corresponding acid in the table of oxoanions. For nitrite ion, the formula of acid would be, and its name is nitrous acid. For nitrate ion, the formula of acid would be, and its name is nitric acid. For phosphate ion, the formula of acid would be, and its name is phosphoric acid. For sulfite ion, the formula of acid would be, and its name is sulfurous acid. For sulfate ion, the formula of acid would be, and its name is sulfuric acid. For hypochlorite ion, the formula of acid would be, and its name is hypochlorous acid. For chloride ion, the formula of acid would be, and its name is chlorous acid. For chlorate ion, the formula would be, and its name is chloric acid. Lastly, for perchlorate ion, the formula of acid would be, and its name is perchloric acid. Naming an acid is easy because you just need to know the anion and then follow its corresponding structure. Okay, so that's it. That is all for now. I hope you learned something today. Once again, this is Easy Engineering.